and we need to talk. I don't even know where to start, but we need to talk. I've been contemplating on making a video about this because I'm like, oh, here she goes again with another update. But I do think that it's needed to kind of talk you through because like I always say, I want to show you the good, the bad and the ugly. So let's just, let's get into it. Hello, hi. If you're new here, my name is Angela. I am a board certified trichologist, which means that I know everything about the science, disease and structure of both hair and scalp. I am also a product research junkie and if everything goes as planned, which is what we're going to talk about, a cosmetic chemist to be. I really wanted to make this video and be straight up and honest. Quite some months ago, I did an update. I have ambition that I have telling you that I have ambitions to start some new education and that um my like let's say two to five year goal is to become a cosmetic scientist i said cosmetic scientist but that's when you literally translate it i'm dutch by the way um but it's cosmetic chemist so i've been saying that wrong for all of these videos but hey we live and we learn i also told you that i'm 29 and you know certain decisions that i made in the past when it comes to education aren't really helping me at this point to achieve that goal and after doing some research i discovered that to enter the education i had to have a certain level in um, math in chemistry and they also preferred another like biological or chemist subject so i decided to do biology mind you um those were like the entry requirements for um this education so i was like you know what i'm gonna do it because i always hate to look back and be like oh what if i did try you know i just want to try it if I fail at it, then I just know that it's not right for me. If I succeed, then I'm happy, you know what I mean? So that was my main goal. And I wanted to document that because I do feel like, you know, going towards my 30s and I know that I'm not old, but I'm getting older. And I know that even if you're a little bit older than that, that you kind of feel or that's like, Let's stick it to me and my personal thoughts. I kind of feel like sometimes it feels like it's too late to do something new this drastically just because you're like, you know, I have a household to take care of. I have a job to do. Um, I don't have time. Uh, what if I go to class and they're only like super young people? There's like a lot of society pressure uh, upon you that makes you decide not to do something like this, to have that career change, when it's actually ridiculous because if if it makes you feel happier in what you're doing or make you six, more successful at the end of the road, like, and when it comes to successfulness, I'm really talking about what you feel makes you successful. But, so that is not like a higher position, it's just what makes you feel like you've succeeded in life. Then why should you let all those elements stop you but those elements will pressure you and put that pressure on you and make it harder on a daily basis. and that was what i was experiencing i had those three subjects and even though online they say like you know what you need like around six months to like learn everything and be ready for those exams but what they don't tell you is that it's a lot of stuff to put in your head is a lot of repetition it's a lot of hours and i discovered that i actually needed over eight hours per subject math i was doing quite okay but like on an average to really have high grades um eight hours per subject which means that like i would have to learn or focus on those subjects three days out of my week which it doesn't sound like that much but if you realize that you know Cruel Bella, my whole platform and everything that I do next to that that you don't really see is 
a full-time job and sometimes even more than a full-time job it's not realistic and i started to notice that because like for the past two weeks i have insomnia and that is something that is not me i i'm a light sleeper but i'm always able to sleep and the past two weeks i've been waking up every two to three hours of my sleep and it takes me over 30 minutes to fall back to sleep and i wake up and i feel like i haven't slept at all i also felt like this pressure of not having enough time in a day to do stuff so i ended up waking up at five which oops sorry that's my manager this also happens like my manager texas all at all um i felt drained and i think that the moment that i really felt that was actually after my surgery the surgery that i had uh, which that video will come up very soon it's a lot of footage that i need to edit of the whole uh tonsillectomy process i hope that i say that correctly but um i was out for two weeks i really was out for two weeks and i realized that my body was exhausted but most of all my mind was exhausted and i felt like every time that i sat down to do my chemistry do my bio biology do my math it wasn't getting in and i'm not the quickest learner um but certain things always stick and even that wasn't like sticking and that really made me realize like okay what i'm doing right now is not working for me i don't know what it is but the pressure of my exams being in may and those are set dates i'm not able to like plan it in myself it's just like um the yearly like uh countries exam so i'm not able to like switch and say oh can we do this in september no it's only in may it's only once a year and otherwise i'm losing another year so that also gave me so much extra pressure i didn't feel like i had any time to even have a little bit of fun and covid didn't make it easier because we just got out of a lockdown like two weeks ago so during the whole time i was in lockdown it was just a lot and it made me realize like okay and um you need to write down like what you have to do like what is necessary what you cannot skip and one of those things is my job like i'm i'm my own boss so i have to do that otherwise i'm not able to pay my mortgage i'm not able to um live my life i'm not able to have like a roof uh on my head on top of my head I won't have any food to eat that's necessary um and i have certain goals for this year so i was like mm, that we cannot skip and the biggest elephant in the room ended up being those three subjects this was the first time in a long time that i really was convinced that i'm i'm not able to do those three subjects and do my exams and pass them like me saying this and why is i'm it's that time of the month as well so i cannot do it in like realistically i cannot do it i could but i would lose myself and it would jeopardize everything else that i've worked so hard for so i'm not the type of person that like accepts that so that was very difficult for me to accept but that also made me <laughs> want to do more research and be like okay let me just research everything one last time think of solutions maybe there's another way so i did that and um after some searching i discovered another online institute that is also like cleared globally to get the same diploma as I was previously looking for. And this is in Australia. Let me just, I wanna read it. Like, I wanna say correctly which one it is. 
it is the Institute of Personal Care Science and this one is in Australia and it gives you the same diploma and after doing a lot of research I actually felt more comfortable with this uh, institute because they also um, give you the tools and the education and videos and uh, personal coaching to make those formulas so really do the chemistry part but then the requirements came in and i read everything through and i was kind of like confused about it because they have like a certain australian level which they want you to be on but i couldn't really find what that meant like with my dutch education that i had because every like country has their own educational system and in how they like grade and it's why don't we have like a global accepted grade and i don't get that ah, sorry some feel so i sent them an email like explaining everything i was like i'm not sure um if i I have the right requirements etc and i had to wait a whole freaking day because the time difference between australia and the netherlands is insane it's literally it's it's literally day and night so got my email back and they sent me so much information it was awesome like i feel so far like information wise this institute gave me everything I needed to decide if I was capable, if I was able, everything. And what they also did is they sent me like a little test that I could do to kind of um, make sure that I'm on the right levels of the educational system that they have. Um, so I did the test and it came out very, very well answer wise. And um, after sending like all the information that they needed from me my education that i had over here etc i am able to enter in without doing those three subjects that i actually thought i needed um which is absolutely insane it's like on one hand i'm like i had to there is a reason why I had to, to go through this to make this happen. But on the other hand, I'm like, and were you on like, were you drinking too much wine when you did your first research? Because hello, you could have saved yourself a lot of time, effort, stress, money, a better well-being, everything, you know. But you know, it's okay. And that's one of the things like I can say about myself that I'm very proud of is that I'm always trying to look from a problem solving perspective instead of just like only seeing the problem. I've always been like that and that has saved me right now. That literally has saved me and made me like feel like we have a new goal. So I also normally right away step into things which I'm trying to learn so that's not what I'm doing right now I've decided depending on how everything goes for the upcoming two weeks uh, also with my sleeping pattern and stuff like that that I'm gonna start or March 1st or April 1st with this education and uh, with this study and I'm gonna tell you what the study is called because I'll probably get a lot of people like asking me I am studying personal care formulation and I can eventually become a um, cosmetic chemist after finishing that you can do this study in three years the average is one year and we have some fast learners that do it in seven months I am sticking to the one year I always know that I'm over ambitious. I think it also depends on how everything will go in between, also work wise, because now that everything is opening up more, that also means that I have more like meetings outside, maybe press trips, shoots, film days. Um, so it's a plus for my overall health and doing stuff that I love, but it also kind of eats away of my time that I could have to study. Um, you're able to do this part-time, which is very realistic. 
and they also have a very realistic plan on how to do it so it's all written out for you already just like a normal school system and i think that that is absolutely amazing because even though i'm studying from home and i'm doing it online having that kind of guidance in how to plan it out correctly is a lifesaver so um that's basically the update i will film everything so that's also the reason why i didn't really vlog or do anything study wise because i wasn't feeling it and hopefully this will be the study that i was looking for and give you the footage that i wanted to show you a realistic view on how it is to study this from home doing this online and um all the steps ahead so this is just a snippet of that um i already filled in my application um and i will just like film everything as soon as for example the materials and stuff like that come in so that's very exciting um yeah that's the update so i think that moral of the story is that you know as cliche as it sounds everything happens for a reason and whatever happens always try to look at it from a how can i solve this problem perspective instead of only seeing the problem because that really has always worked for me and even now is working in a really strange but amazing way <sighs> okay it's out um this video ended up being way longer than i wanted but i hope that you enjoyed it i if you have any questions about this subject do let me know i will very soon come with new footage of like studying let me know what kind of videos you would like to see would you like want a video like the day in a life of a cosmetic scient scientist i want to say it again a cosmetic chemist to be um because i am planning to like have one full day a week that i study and like two the three hours during the week uh for like two or three evenings to make sure that i study enough but like a full day of studying just to make sure that i really understand like all the all the information that i get let me know i am overall just super excited i have a lot of clarity now which i was really i was in need of that i really was in need of that i'm i'm just such a virgo i'm such an overthinker and when things get too much that's when you see me having those type of nights and just having like my head full of things but not being able to connect connect those dots or to fix it because i'm always feeling like i can do it all and you know it's okay to also be like no i i can't i can't do it i can't take it all i can't i can't do it so um thank you for watching this video and thank you for being on this journey with me i know that this video didn't start off as positive but we have a kind of so far positive outcome let me know if you've struggled with these type of things because i do feel like you know we don't talk about it enough and it's nice to hear from like-minded people or people that have experienced similar things just to know that you're not alone so if you think if you're watching this you're not alone i've been going through it as well thanks again i think it's the fourth time that i say it. thank you thank you thank you so much for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next video.